Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and this is my son Ben. And today we have another Johnny Walker red label here on my cask and the label is, I'm afraid, not red. <laughs> it's the Johnny Walker red rye finish. That means that this whiskey is, well, finished in rye whiskey, rye whiskey casks from the US or from North America. No idea if it's come from Canada or from the US. Um, and uh, this is an experimental whiskey. And I'm happy uh, that I got that bottle from the distributor. And this is a pre-bottle. It's uh, not for sale. Uh, and here we got a confidential uh, uh, sample. sample miniature. Uh, and uh, the official date where we are allowed to uh, publish this is October 2016. Uh, so we're right at the end of uh, October today. So it's so okay. It's okay. Um, so, um, yeah. first of all, it's a, I'll show you the bottle here. We have a 40% ABV, so 80 proof for the Americans. Whiskey, it's a standard 07 bottle. I think in the US you will have a 075 bottle and it has coloring and it has chill filtering. Yeah. And it unfortunately doesn't have an age statement. It does say something about the age with the with yeah. the maturation. So what's yeah. that? So uh, here they say um, they uh, small batch that matured in first fill bourbon casks. This is a, a significant difference to the red label, which is used which used a re 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 refill cast in average. Uh, so this is first fill ex bourbon casks and finished up uh, for up to six months in former rye whiskey casks for extra smoothness and sweetness, creating a light and sweet scotch with the familiar spicy notes usually associated with Johnny Walker red label. And <coughs> sorry about that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is a marketing <laughs> blur. Wait, wait, wait. It, that was not spicy at all. But okay. I know a lot of rye if you have, let's say, Oh, mm -hmm. Put it somewhere else, the 1776, that rye was really spicy. <laughs> so what, how does the, the rye bring smoothness? Yeah. <laughs> so I think uh, the ex -bourbon, mm. first fill ex-bourbon cask bring caramel, vanilla, smoothness, everything into the whiskey. And the rye, which matured uh, mm. for the finishing cask, that brings a, a certain amount of of spiciness of bitterness in the whiskey but if you look at a cask uh, where the rye whiskey was in that typically only one or two percent of the rye is staying in the porous walls or as a residue in the cask uh, so uh, this influence will very will very very low uh, yeah so you typically have a dual maturation in fresh american casks mm -hmm. this is what happens but here uh, from what I've just heard, you know, you have fresh first fill casks for the first maturation, then you have rye casks for the second maturation. You don't know how many times they have been used, but mm -hmm. um, that's much more than you have with the red label. So I expect a, a much better whiskey. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Johnny Walker Blender's batch red rye finish is inspired by my own fascination with the bold flavors of American whiskeys first developed while working with bourbons and rice in Louisville, Kentucky over 25 years ago. After more than 50 experiments exploring 203 malts and grain whiskey samples, we've created a blend of just four whiskeys. So four four whiskeys. whiskeys, including Cardu. This mm -hmm. has to be Cardu because Johnny Walker, the home of Johnny Walker is Cardu. Mm -hmm. uh, single malt for its vibrant, fresh fruitiness, along with a creamy vanilla grain whiskey from Port Dundas. And Port Dundas was a grain whiskey distillery with column stills uh, situated in, in, in Glasgow um, at the port, <laughs> at the kennel. Uh, and this is closed already. There had been a, uh, a cooperage as well. And today they try to uh, consolidate everything uh, northeast of, of uh, Stirling. Uh, at the mm. Black Range Bond and, and, and uh, Cameron Brick distil uh, Distillery, yeah. Um, small batches, uh, here we have, and here we say um, malt and grain whiskies included, including now closed Port Dundas aged in first fill bourbon cask vanilla. So, same stuff. Yeah. Okay, so we try. But this is unfortunately, this is a. Uh, 
uh, not a real bottle, and I would guess um, that it will be darker when it hits the market because uh, usually the darker ones sell better, so they're gonna put more color in. No, uh, this one is is tea. It's tea in it, yeah. and uh, so this is is real. And this is the real one. If you compare those two colors uh, against each other, uh, you can see that the sample is is much darker. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I think when it hits the market, it will be a bit darker. They will. I don't think that this this is more for for the label and what we expect for size and stuff. Oh. Oh. Mm hmm. Really. Much deeper. There's. But it reminds me of a bourbon. Yes, yeah. definitely. And a very, very smooth taste. Mm -hmm. So I would... Vanilla, caramel. Very, very mellow taste. So I would, I would rather say Tennessee whiskey rather than uh, things, uh, rather than bourbon. So uh, we're comparing. So, we uh, so com this is definitely a completely different whiskey to a red. Uh, so having a red beside that will be, well. Let's have a comparing. Yeah. Let's have a comparison. Okay, right is uh, left. Camera left is uh, the right. red, <laughs> and camera left, camera right is the right. Oh my god, I'm not an actor. I have vanilla, smoothness, caramel. And it's definitely twice the amount of aromas than the red it's, one. It's, it's much stronger. Yeah. It's much stronger. It's just smoother sweetness. This has a bit of an undefined uh, sweetness. Okay, so bit. this is a scotch and this is a bourbon. Yeah, from the nose, I would say. Yeah, I like a bourbon. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. It's just 40% smooth on the tongue. And then some aftertaste, ah. which the red one doesn't have. Mm. Mm. With, a, with a good bread flavor, with a good rye flavor, which is a bit of spiciness, with a bit of freshness, like, like you're walking around in the woods. Mm. Ah. And it develops. Yeah, develops yeah, very much so the spiciness becoming stronger, mm. moving over your tongue and uh, but, this extreme bitterness from the red one mm. is not there. Uh, you have a little bitterness, but it's complementary, whereas yes. in the red it was dominant. Mm. And I still do have some taste, so, mm -hmm. mm. so it's, it, it's much longer lasting than the, the red. So I'm very positive about this bottle, oh. <laughs> in contrast to the red one, which is mm -hmm. just good for mixing. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I avoid that one just for smelling. <laughs> mm. Mm. So there's none, nothing of... Uh, the thing is, the, the, the rye one is much more dominant with, with, with all the flavors, with the sweetness with the with the spiciness with the maturity well, but there's no smokiness at all i don't i really don't have a smokiness in the right finish where there was a, a light smokiness in the red one in the red right finish there's no smokiness at all so probably they say four distilleries so they have cardu they have an what, one more marked distillery mm -hmm. than the Port Dundas and uh, probably Cambus or Cameron Bridge uh, as a second grain mm -hmm. whiskey. So those four. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's a experimental limited edition or what did they say? Blenders, blenders, number one blenders batch. It does have a batch on it. If you look, you have this this one here. You do have a batch number on it. So. I think I would estimate they they want to do a series with it. So hopefully, if if this hits the market and and they are satisfied and the, the customers are satisfied, which is probably most important, then they, they're gonna continue with that and we're yeah. gonna see new stuff from Johnny Walker coming out. In, I don't know in, every year in a lower price range. Mm -hmm. So well below twenty five, 
around 20 probably. Mm -hmm. So I had a select cask, ride cask finish, 10 years old from Johnny Walker already on my cask uh, with 46% ABV. This was really, really good. Uh, so there is uh, better stuff coming from Johnny Walker and they dev are developing mm -hmm. to a higher quality. Uh, so this good is choice. very good news. Yeah. Very good choice from, from the Ageo. So hopefully we see more stuff from uh, in the future. Do you have something else to say? Or? Uh, they say uh, drink it neat or, in, or oh, mixed yeah. as always. So <laughs> it's, it's, it may develop to a mass market project product as well. So I don't know. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this video with your friends. And as always, stay healthy, stay horny.